So if I had heard my story, I would have been skeptical. I wouldn't have believed uh, that it could have happened, um, but it did, uh, and this is my story. My name is Gideon, and I grew up in the church. I went to a private Christian school, really felt like I knew who God was, uh, who Jesus was. And then when I went into college, I had this reckoning of how I was living and treating other people. It wasn't really aligning with what Jesus was calling us to do. And I ended up having a falling out with a friend because of it. And then it turned into just a really bad church experience because of it. I walked away from that experience feeling like I was um, less than a person because I didn't believe or um, say the right things or, or do the right things. I wasn't even worth looking at or talking to anymore. So that was in college and that really started a, pro a process for me of deconstructing my faith and pulling out like what was true about God, what wasn't true about God. And um, I remember walking away from the church feeling like I was okay with Jesus and I was okay with God, but I definitely didn't need the church. Um, so I spent all of my 20s out of church. And then in 2018, we had this really difficult period in my family's life. Um, we had uh, four people pass away unexpectedly um, in 10, mon 10 months and we didn't have a church community, so we didn't really um, have anyone to rely on. Um, I remember just praying for something that I didn't feel like I wanted. It was something that I needed. I needed God to fix this broken relationship before this person passed away or fix this person who was so broken they wanted to take their own life. And God didn't come through on that. And so I had been done with church. And then after that, I knew I was, I was done with God. I decided I didn't, I didn't wanna believe in God. I wasn't going to, I, I couldn't prove God didn't exist, but I definitely didn't believe in a God that was personal or loving or kind. And I was done. Uh, that was in 2018, and I had recently had my daughter, and it kind of started a prolonged period of depression for me. And then my sister started going to church. Uh, so it was 2021. Uh, Southside Henry opened up their actual building, and she started attending with her family. And she kept inviting us every week. She kept inviting me. And every week she'd give a little tidbit of why she thought I should come. I think you're gonna like this pastor. Your kids are really gonna like Wombaland or Upstreet. Um, and I really just didn't want anything to do with it. Um, so I just kept saying, okay, okay. But we never attended. So to make her stop asking, we finally attended. And we came on October 30th in 2021. It was the mega awesome costume party. So of course my kids loved it and we had to come back. Um, but Andy was in the middle of his reassembly required series, and it wasn't even the bottom line of the series. It was just like a, a one-off statement. He said it was something about maybe there's a relationship that's broken down that's caused a relationship with God to be broken down. And I remember thinking, man, I, I really needed to hear that. I think somebody must have been praying for me to hear that. And so we decided to start coming and it was the same thing with my sister. I didn't want to, but I just really felt like I should. Um, so we started showing up and then um, really just trying to lean in. And there are two big moments for me in that period from October to January. So the first one was, we now have two kids. I had a son and he wasn't sleeping. And so when babies don't sleep, you put them in the car and you drive them around hoping they'll go to sleep. And I just happened to be listening to the radio and the song Oceans came on. And it alludes to like Peter walking, taking a step of faith and walking out on the water. And Peter fails and he starts to drown. And I remember thinking, you know, Jesus was right there to physically reach for Peter, who's drowning. And I remember feeling so angry. 
felt really angry that I was drowning. And I didn't have a Jesus to reach for me. I, um, I'd been really depressed and I'd been on and off depression medication and I'd been actively um, ideating suicide. And I just felt like I wasn't gonna make it. And it was, in that moment, it was like I heard clear as day, your Jesus is here. And he's living inside of people who are reaching for you. People like your sister, who won't stop inviting you to church. And so, again, it was another sign for me to just keep coming. So Southside put on a night of worship. It was called a night of hope. And the bottom line for the message was to keep showing up, keep showing up. And so I took that as my word for the year that I was gonna keep showing up, not just to church, but to life. So we continued to show up, continued to go to church, decided to start serving. And I felt like the baby room in Wamba Land would be a good fit for me because I didn't have to preach about anything that maybe I didn't necessarily believe in yet. Um, all I had to do was sit and hold a baby and love on them, and that was the way to serve. And so I began to serve in Wamba, and I met uh, this lady named Melody White, and she has no idea, I'm sure, what an impact she had on me. Um, just sitting on the floor with her, holding babies and talking to her, she made me feel like I belonged. She didn't do anything special other than that. Um, it made such a difference for me uh, and was an encouragement to me to keep showing up. Sometimes you don't realize the things you're, the seed you're planting are a seed. My sister Israel and my friend Melody. Um, like I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. It was two people who I knew personally who were living out what they said they believed. They didn't do anything crazy or hard, um, but they just did it consistently and genuinely. And so I'm very grateful for them.